197, Jim, who's it going to be? Well, it's mystery time here on BTN. Who's it going to be? I don't know. I, I You know, I'm, we're here and possibly should go recede, but we'll see who goes out there. And so it's uh, that man's call. Been in these situations before. Here we go. Maybe he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. It is Shakur Rashid. If you picked him, you are a winner tonight. Shakur Rashid, he'll get the nod tonight. Of course, it was Anthony Kassar last week against Ohio State. Wilkie and Rashid, a pair of sophomores here at 197. Yeah, these, this is going to be fun to watch. He's given Shakur Rashid with the, all the, the effort that he's put in in the season. He's going to go out there and jump right into a takedown against eighth-ranked Cash Wilkie. And you look at the cradles. Hall, the cradle and a pin. Nickel as well. This guy might have the best cradle. He's got 11 pins. He can cradle you from 10 feet away. Yeah, he does have a great one. And he actually went for the side tilt right there. And so this is one of those situations where if you're Wilkie, you, you, you prepare for Kassar, who's a little bit more basic, or you go ahead and, you know, if you find yourself in the down position against uh, Shakur Rashid, you're going to keep that knee away from your chin. Rashid 15 and 2. You know, and this is just such a tough position to be in as a coach. I mean, I, I've been there. I've had a couple of ranked guys in the same weight class. And it's just like it, it's just you're giving both guys an opportunity. And nice work there by Rashid. He's got the cradle. He does, but, but they go off the out of bounds. So Tom <laughs> Brands is reminding him about what they went over all week. So tell me, Jim, to stop a cradle, how do you coach against a guy like Rashid or any of these guys, Penn State, with the cradles? Well, you've got to, first of all, you've got to get some back pressure, and it's got to be, you've got to be determined to keep your, uh, you know, the cradler will have a favorite side that he likes to hit that from. Nice job of getting good back pressure against the opponent and sliding those hips away and knees away so you keep your knee away from your chin. And it's not, it's not always... Uh, he, he gets them, he goes right into them right after a takedown. It's just kind of like a, you know, a freestyle center wrestler going right into center. a gut wrench. You know, after a takedown, he does the same thing. Shakur Rashid does. Another takedown at the edge, make it 4 1. You know, what, what impresses me about what's happening in this Penn State program is how, how amiable and how these guys, you know, talk to throw Matt McCutcheon in the mix there too. Last year's 97 powder, how, how, uh, how okay they are with everybody. There's not a lot of internal uh, strife here between the three guys in that way. You mentioned freestyle, Jim. Couple freestyle opportunities for wrestling fans. The World Cup, it's coming at Carver Hawkeye Arena in Iowa City. That's April 7th and 8th. And then State College, second city to host the inaugural Final X Series. That'll be at Rec Hall on Saturday, June 16th. Final X will determine the 2018 U.S. Senior World Teams in men's and women's freestyle. So. Make sure to check those dates and get to Iowa City and State College. Yeah, good work here by Shakur Rashid breaking Wilkie down. And again, that's that's what he's conscious of right now is that trying to keep that knee away from your head. And when he gets the guys that distracted about it, you know, again, he's a tough duty for Wilkie. He had to repair, prepare for two guys that were pretty darn good. Wilkie has lost. Three of five, he's won back-to-back -back matches against Anderson and Shaconis of Minnesota and Northwestern after dropping three straight. Yeah, this is an excellent period, so, you know, you, you, there's, there's three ways you, you look at maybe deciding who's the guy. Number one is how they're doing against each, the, the, the national competition, how they do against each other, and then really how they look in the room, you, you know, are, are all factors, and, uh, it's going to be just a, a, a tough choice that, that Kale Sanderson will not be comfortable making after it's made. And regardless of last Saturday night, Colin Moore is still, in my opinion, the guy at, at this Iowa weight class. But 197 after last year, far from Minnesota, graduated. Jaden Cox of Missouri. And this weight class is really wide open. It can be, yeah. I think yeah. You're, you're right about uh, Moore. I think he's certainly one of the guys to beat. We're going to find out a lot about a lot of guys here. There you see. Hey, hey I'm going to give one of my Gibby Awards here right now, and you're going to see why here in a second. See that man in the middle there, Casey Cunningham? All right. He had a power move last week, All right? Now we're going to be able to hopefully get to that. All right, top, bottom, neutral. We saw Olympic champion Jake Varner there as well. There's Coach Cunningham. Yeah. 
So he had a move last week. It was in the, in the uh, first period. Rashid going on bottom here to start the second period. He's up by three. He's got riding time over two and a half minutes. Yeah, good work there by Shakur Rashid. Popping to his feet. And Penn State Russell do a good job of that. They're immediately looking for, you know, they get to their feet. They're looking for reversals and throws. You know, they're high mile, high uh, high effort type of, uh, you know, a good time to take that risk, you know, from your feet. Once you get to your feet, not necessarily settling for an escape. A lot of highly combustible material, right? <laughs> to Handle use the old, with care. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty seconds have passed here in the second. A straight on shot there by Shakur Rashid. Good recovery though, right back to his feet. Doesn't sit on the shoot tops. Yeah, it, it, just like in the Marinelli matches, there's there's got to be you know moments inside these matches where these Iowa wrestlers have something to build off of it here. And, and Wilkie, you know, we've seen where he, he's just kind of he's been a one and done type of guy. He makes that first one shot and it's not really followed up with much. And I think that the coaching staff is looking for a little bit more follow up here with uh, Cash Wilkie. You know, only a, it's a sophomore. Yeah, he's right? a sophomore. Yeah. Battle yeah. Creek, Iowa. There's a, their effort right there. And he's able to knock him down right there. He's got both legs and he's, if he settle back, that looks like it. Uh, I'm going to end up in that ankle pass situation. And the referee's going to call it potentially dangerous. Watch his, watch his ankle. You good, man? Watch his knee. We're neutral. Great crowd here tonight. You look at the top 10 indoor records. Penn State with five of the top 10, including okay. the top three. And right around 16,000 here tonight. Okay. Take a look at that. We showed this, but. Watch this, this is last week. See Casey Cunningham here? This is a boss move coming up, all right? So he's contesting, he's upset with the referee. Again, this is an assistant coach on this national championship team. He's upset, hey, where, where's the brick? Where's the brick? Give me the brick, all right? <laughs> Give me the brick, Kale. Kale doesn't even acknowledge him, all right? He looks over there, here's the brick. He's got a hold of the brick now. He says, Kale doesn't even give him the shot. That's a boss move, guys. That's why he gets a gibby. <laughs> he's phenomenal, one of the most respected Assistant coaches in the country. There you see Jake Varner to his left, our right, Kale Sanderson. A Big Ten team has won the national championship 11 straight years. Of course, Iowa and Penn State. 10 straight combined. Ohio State with the national title a few years back. And looks like we're poised to do it again yeah. here in the Big Ten. Take a look at. Again, the back, back part of this meet right now, what, what's, you know, the, the, the pressure's off a little bit. You understand what the score, you've had a little break here. What's Wilkie going to do? Can he give these this Iowa coaching staff some positive feelings about, you know, his potential here going forward? Coming up next, the Big Show delivers highlights from around the conference, post-game reaction and in-depth expert analysis. The Big Show, next, right here on BTN. Just want to give credit once again Jim to Penn State. We saw Ohio State as well. Iowa. I mean, these guys make it an event. Yeah, these these duels are a lot of fun. They got great fan bases, and you know they're you know wrestling is packing arenas now. You know I don't know what this the, the attendance is for this this beat, but it's we're, we're packing it. It's been a great time that that Penn State Ohio State matches was one of the was the all time most watched college wrestling duel on television positive of it so it's like we're in a great state right now to be able to take advantage of our media attention and people getting treated to great matches in person. Rashid leading it five to one. He's got riding time over two minutes. Again plenty of instruction now there's a misdirection shot there for Wilkie. Yeah he's, he's Rashid Shakur Rashid goes right into that uh, ankle pass situation, and he feels comfortable in this situation, and you want to go ahead and get your head up. And Wilkie seems to be settling with his chest on the leg. Gonna Short get time. Stop, yeah. guys, up. Up easy, watch your knees coming out, fellas. Yeah, that's good instruction there by Mike McCormick, uh, letting both guys know to bring it out of that easy, because... Said, nobody wants to get hurt this time of year. It's just too tough to come back from. What you want, Mom? Iowa. 
See Casey Cunningham giving instructions to Rashid. They're going to take neutral. Which, neutral. Yeah. All right, fellas, here we go. Situation for bonus points as well if you're Penn State. So, Wilkie, nice yeah. shot. Spalling back right there, but good job with, uh, with, you know, he got beat to the punch there on that, sh that shot Wilkie did. And, you know, now, you, you know, it's for Rashid. I mean, he's competing for a spot. It's these moments right now with 137 left in the, in the, in the period. You know, can he bring this up to a major? If you major a guy in this situation, it's huge. And he's doing it to the number eight guy in the country. Correct, yeah. So this is kind of the equivalent of maybe a quarterfinals match, according to the rankings. Whether it's Rashid or Kassar, Penn State is in good shape at 197. Both these guys have been a lot of fun to watch. Kale Sanderson has some great choices there. These guys are competing well. A lot of coaches would love to have that problem, huh? Yeah, and I think, you know, this is a guy that wrestled 65 not too long in his career. So he's moving up. And, you know, the reason why they, you know, the log jam is there at this weight class is because of Bo Nickel at 84. I mean. And Mark Hall at 74 and Joseph right. at 65. Yeah, there's just uh, some solid guys there that you're going to have to move up to maybe find a spot in the weight class. So stall warning right there. There's the one point. So with riding time, he does have that major. Major decision intact at the moment. And this is where the Iowa corner, I mean, Wilkie is right there by the Iowa corner. He continues to compete. Stop, stop, stop. Gets action. the escape. Bounds, yeah. One more takedown. Here we go, 20 seconds. Yeah, they, you know where Sheet's coming. Yeah, you really do, you know? So he can go ahead and fake like he's coming. Enough. If Wilkie goes ahead and takes a shot, just do a little quick little go behind. Question is, will Wilkie bring it? Oh, straight on double. Wow, this is for there effect. It is. Yeah, wow. This is Cherry good work. on top. Yeah, two. just, just a, two guys just battling for a spot. It's kind of like you, know, you hate to bring the other guy into the performance, but uh, both of them are fun to watch. Major decision with that late takedown. Shakur Rashid, the man tonight anyways for the Nittany Lions at 197.